In today's video, we will showcase the exciting Sundance Film Festival premiere of the film Girls State. Make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to catch the exclusive interviews with the cast and crew of the film on the red carpet. Watching them build a government from scratch was mirroring adult state, but also they did things differently. And that was exciting to us and made us hopeful in a lot of ways that you kind of hope um, you feel when you work on a film. I mean, I, uh, these girls were so inspiring. Um, this is a really difficult time in our country, and they filled us with optimism and with yeah. hope. And yeah. um, they're, they're courageous, they're challenging their own fears and, and the ways in which society is holding young women back. And I think that's what we see in the film. Um, and um, we, you know, we need more women in elected office. And that's what this film is um, asking us to think about. Why don't we have more women in Congress, in uh, governorships? Um, why don't we have a female president yet? Um, that's what Girl State's about, asking those questions. Well, with 500 girls, it's really hard to choose. I mean, the, the, I think the joy of the film is we're, we're right in the middle of this enormous community, and you really feel the energy, and you, we meet a lot of women in this film. But we followed uh, seven young, extraordinary girls who are confident, but also vulnerable, and let us in, let the camera follow them. And they showed us what this experience can be, how it can transform young people. And I credit them for being brave. Um, um, and um, they have special qualities. They're, they're from all over the political spectrum. They're conservative, they're liberal, yeah. they're moderate. Um, they, they come from different parts of Missouri. Some are rural, some are urban. So I think we wanted the, the cast, this group of young women, to represent America, and I think they do. I think it's probably in parallel with what the takeaway for the program is, too. We believe in these programs. It's a place where, as you said, people with very different politics come together and talk to each other in real life, which is kind of rare these days, given how hyper-polarized we are. So the value of that cannot be underestimated and the value of being active as a citizen is something that these programs really they ignite these kids and some of these kids who didn't know they could give a speech get on stage and suddenly they like just a light goes on and it's so exciting to watch people find their voice but also find their place in democracy and know that they have to be active you have to vote you have to care you have to research. You have to know the issues. It's so great to have a partner that really believes in this uh, project and in this film and is really working hard to bring young people to this story, um, to reach those audiences. And that's what Apple TV can do is put this incredible and inspiring story in front of um, a lot of people, young and old. Actually, parents watch it with their teenagers. That We love that. I think at the time, like, the film does a really good job capturing the camp was so stressful. Like, it definitely was there. We saw the cameras. But at the same time, I was just so focused on, like, doing what I came there to do that the film became, like, a secondary part. And then I just realized, like, in two years or so, this is going to be a cool thing. So, yeah. Yes, I definitely felt like the cameras were there, but it wasn't affecting the way that we were acting or the policy we were trying to push forward or where we were trying to get in terms of leadership. I feel like... The cameras definitely like brought us together recently, like the girls that were being yeah. filmed. Um, we've definitely had the best relationships come out of it, but overall I don't think the cameras played like a huge role in it. Now it's just like it captured our experience yeah. and it's so good to look back at. Like, I like to think about it like we get two experiences out of it. Like we got Girl State and now we get to come back here and like relive it all. Absolutely. It's important to note like there were discrepancies, like this wasn't like a perfect camp. But at the same time, like women, we notice. We notice when there's differences and we work to change them. Like I got the opportunity to go back to the camp next year and already things had changed. Like boys state and girls state was more combined. They like combined the resources more. The dress code was way looser. So like things are changing. The leadership did like they definitely listened to us. Like girls also had sports opportunities alongside the boys. So I think it's like. Yeah, at the time it was really disheartening, but going back and seeing it change was really hopeful because, you know, we can make a difference, which was really nice. I think just a sense of hope, sense of hope that, you know, women, we're, we're rising, we're going to be the next leaders. And, you know, for young girls watching it, I want them to know there's no one way to be a powerful woman. That's why I love so much about the film. It's just like, we're all so different, but we all kind of want the same things and we all support each other. And I think that's just a beautiful message for young women and for everyone. That
that, you know, we're not going to be divided anymore. We're here, we're going to stand together, we're going to support each other. We come into contact with so many different people every day, and Girl State is just interesting because those people are ideally willing to talk politics with you. And so I was really excited to have an opportunity to finally talk politics because up until Girl State, you know, I kind of had been laid back since nobody really wants you to be talking politics in a high school classroom. It's just not popular to do. And so it was really great to have that environment. And regardless of opinion, some of my best friends, we disagree. But I think that there's something to be said about being able to have disagreements and still be friends and still work together for progress. There's nothing in the world I would recommend more than going to Girl State. I went to Girl State this past year after, so it was filmed in 2022. I went to 2023 as a counselor, and I'll probably be going as a counselor until I'm like 80 something or dead. So I love Girl State. I think that it, we should get all the attention in the world on it because it's the most empowering program, most life changing program ever. I think like in the time of filming, I didn't really like process it, but like seeing it now, like it's so exciting and like it is definitely like a nerve wracking experience, but I'm so grateful that I did it. I think that Girl State like changed my life, seriously. Honestly, it was really cool because like coming from a city like Kansas City, like we're mostly around like, you know, people who have the same similar mindsets. So being able to like meet with girls from rural Missouri, it was so cool to like actually be able to see what Missouri looks like in actuality, especially like when we're talking about political things that are happening in Missouri and representing Missouri, it's important that everyone's voice is heard. And I think that Girl State does a really good job of showcasing all of the political spectrum and being able to have those conversations. I tell all the girls from my high school, go to Girl State, go to Girl State, go to Girl State. I think that for me, like having older my older members in school being they were the ones who pushed me to go to girl state so i definitely recommend it i think it changed my life it's everything to me i had absolutely no idea going into the documentary how mainstream or not mainstream that it would be and so when i realized that it was actually going to premiere at sundance i was first nervous second scared and then third really excited so i'm glad to be here i come from a pre pretty urban area i'm from kansas city missouri so i've been introduced to a lot of different um, and you know niche political perspectives but interacting with girls from more rural areas of missouri was super interesting and super educational i remember a girl talking to me specifically about a bill that she was making about farmer subsidies it's not that i hadn't heard of that before but her passion for it was so unique and it was great seeing that at girl state people need to take away that youth in politics is incredibly important. We need youth to get involved in politics more frequently, more often, whether that's mock trial or on their debate team or perhaps at Girls State. I would absolutely recommend Girls State and Boys State for that matter to young teens. I think it's a great place to explore your viewpoints and also to become more educated on our political system. It definitely was a lot of pressure being followed around by a camera for a week, um, but it was truly life-altering. I mean, the program itself has such an opportunity for women to be empowered and to see themselves in government and to see a future of women in power. Like, that's what's important to us. And we're just excited to have people see it. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. It's I never thought I would have an experience like this. I didn't know what I was looking into going forward into this opportunity. And so far, it's been amazing. And I'm grateful I get to do it with my best friend. <laughs> So I'm gay, um, and Emily, one of my best friends from the film, is really conservative. And so we had a lot of important conversations throughout the week, and I think that it really goes to show that party polarization right now is such a serious problem, and no one is listening to each other. And this experience that we had, we were all able to sit down and have real conversations. And I think that that can make a world of difference when people aren't listening to each other and aren't paying attention to like the emotional side of how it could affect people. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.